What else have we heard in the last few moments? Well, we've all had it in one go, if you like. Downing Street, in the last couple of minutes, issued a statement with details of those new departments and, indeed, the ministers that will lead them up. Let me talk you through them. Uh, first of all, uh, Grand Shapps uh, moves from the business department that no longer exists uh, to a new department, the Secretary of State for Energy Security and Net Zero, a reflection, I think, there of clearly the situation the UK finds itself in in terms of energy prices and a reliance particularly on foreign gas so energy security part of that but so too net zero Rishi Sunak making it clear that he is uh, determined to meet that commitment of being net zero by the middle of this century. Uh, Michelle Donnellan is now the Secretary of State for Science, Innovation and Technology again a new government uh, department uh, clearly, the Prime Minister has talked in the past about trying to make the UK a science superpower. This is an effort to do so, to have a ministry effectively devoted to that. Kevin Badenoch, who was the Trade Minister, uh, effectively remains in that post, but consumes uh, also in that new department is business. So she will be Secretary of State for Business and Trade. She remains President of the Board of Trade and also the Minister for Women and Equality. So effectively, her remit to a large degree has uh, increased, if you like. Uh, Lucy Fraser uh, will uh, be the Secretary of State now for Culture, Media and Sport. Uh, that's the old DCMS uh, uh, department, if you like. Uh, that M Michelle Donnellan had been in. And Greg Hans, uh, we talked about this last hour, is the new Conservative Party chair and what an uphill struggle he has to try and get the Conservative Party on a firm footing going into those local elections a little later on this year and almost certainly a general election next year at a time in which the party, of course, is in a pretty terrible position in the polls in which members seem frankly quite depressed about where they're at and... Uh, where well, there's an awful lot of division and a lack of money for the Conservative Party. So that's the mini reshuffle. It seems to have gone pretty smoothly, it must be said, uh, for Rishi Sunak uh, this morning. Uh, many will ask, what difference is this all going to make, Bev? You know, changing government departments, moving certain bits around, is it really going to fundamentally change much? I think what Rishi Sunak's trying to do here is send a signal about his priorities beyond the five he's announced at the start of the year, whether that's on energy security or whether it's on uh, science. But in the end, there will be criticism that this is essentially just trying to reorganise some decks, deck chairs sorry, on the decks, uh, while not actually really fundamentally probably going to change uh, the Conservative Party or the government's electoral performance.